Hi, good evening. Hello, guys. Hi, how are you? Thank you. Excellent. Hi, Galileo. Hi, Blanca. Hi, Gonzalo. Anna. Judith. Hello. Hi. Very good. Dinora. Hello, Dinora. Hi, Luis. Very good, guys. Thank you for joining class and being so on time. My goodness, you surprised me, guys. Very good. That's good. That's the way it should be. <laughs> Very good, guys. All right. So we're going to wait a couple of minutes to take the first attendance and to start the new topic. Okay. So today we're going to talk a little bit about how much, how many count and non count nouns. Okay. So I know some know this but some of us maybe not so much so we're going to talk about that and i'm gonna like show you when do we use much when do we use many for countable and uncountable nouns okay but that's going to be later on right now we're going to review what we saw yesterday uh at the very like the half of the class we were talking about time expressions okay let me see here. Um, Luis, Alfonso, do you remember one time expression that we saw yesterday? Only one, Luis. Monthly. Monthly, yes, very good, Luis, thank you. Judith, can you tell me another one? Another month, uh, another time expression. Daily. Daily, very good. Blanca, can you tell me another one? Uh, annually. Annually, yes, very good. All right, very good. Thank you. Gonzalo, can you tell us another um another time expression? Weekly. Weekly, yes, very good. Galileo, another one. Every day. Every day. All right, very good. Dinora, can you tell us another time expression, Dinora? Once. Once, yes. And it can be once a day, right? Or once, I don't know. All right. Depends what you want to say. Edwin Valmore, can you tell us another time expression? Eh, estaba viendo una que la, la observé en la evaluación, que es la de yearly. Yearly, yes. It is casi igual que annually. All right, de hecho, quieren decir lo mismo, monthly, weekly, annually, or yearly is the same one. Very good. Yes, Edwin, that's another one. Very okay. good. Y lo usamos igual, ¿verdad? Yearly or annually goes at the end of your sentence. Very good. Eduardo, ¿se recuerda alguna otra expresión de tiempo que vimos ayer? Hi, Olga. Good evening. Uh -huh. Eduardo, Jose Eduardo, do you remember any other Hi. time expression that we Hi. saw yesterday? Uh -huh. mm, no, si se no me recuerdo. Okay. De las... De las time expressions. That's okay. Hi, Luis Manuel. Welcome to class. Luis Manuel, do you remember any time expression that we saw yesterday in class? Uh, yes, teacher. I, I remember that we we'll, uh, that was um, a expression about every day, yes, every weekend, right? Uh, twice, once. Yes, very good. Yes, Luis Manuel, once, uh, twice, uh huh. A day and every day. Very good. Uh, and I did remember this one. Okay, very good. Thank you, Luis Manuel. That's perfect. Very good. Hi, Carlos Alfredo. Welcome to class. All right, guys. So yesterday, for Olga that was not in class, all right, yesterday, Olga, we talked about simple present and we learned about time expressions, okay? Time expressions for simple present. So uh, we talk about things like um, every day or every week or every Saturday, all right? We can also say, for example, I have, I don't know, I have a meeting once a week or I have to organize an event twice a month, all right? 
So those are time expressions that we can use. Y todas esas time expressions, we use them at the end of the sentences, okay? De igual forma, yo puedo decir, Ana Solís organizes meetings every week, all right? No importa que yo esté, hi Anita, no importa que yo esté hablando de una tercera persona, I can always use the time expression that corresponds, all right? to what I'm talking about. Lo que no podemos omitir es el, el, el verbo en tercera persona para conjugarlo correctamente. All right, very good. So, eh, vamos a tomar ya la asistencia. La mayoría ya está acá con nosotros. All right, very good. Alex Humberto Saldaña Rodríguez. Ana Beatriz Pineda Olmedo. Ana Judith Portillo Bautista. Present. Blanca Elizabeth Alvarez. Here. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Carlos Alfredo Portillo Núñez. Present. Carlos Antonio Escobar Hernández. All right. Dinora Alejandra Alfaro Corea. Present. Edwin Balmore Flores Gómez. Present. Elmer Ubaldo Ramírez Cruz. Present. Francisca Elizabeth Martínez Gámez. Gonzalo Valle Valle. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. José Eduardo Guzmán Álvarez. I'm here, teacher. José Galileo Barrera Hernández. Present. Carla Marisol Escobar Arbaiza. Luis Alfonso Martínez Pérez. Thank you. Luis Manuel Muñoz. Present teacher. Thank you. Norma Lizette Quintana Mancía. Olga Marina Contreras Acosta. Present. Thank you. William eh, Mauricio González García. Hi, William. Present teacher. Tenía Thank you. Micro. Yeah, no se preocupe. Eh, Yolanda Melanie Pérez Enríquez. Eh, Ada Karina Cruz García. And Ana Karin Solís López. Yes, I am, teacher. Thank you, Ana. Very good. Welcome. All right. Very good, guys. So that's what we were talking about yesterday, the time expressions, okay? Eh, pregunta general, ¿entendimos el uso de las time expressions y el significado de cada una de las que vimos ayer? ¿O tenemos alguna dificultad ya sea en pronunciación o meaning of the time expressions? I got it. You got it. Very good, Galileo. Anybody else? No questions about um, time expressions when we talk about time expressions for simple present. No problem. Uh, yo sí tengo una pregunta. Tisha. Dígame, Edwin. Bueno, con respecto a la palabra que le dije que vi en la evaluación. Yearly. Yo, uh -huh. Y annually, ¿en qué momento se usaría pues, una de las dos? Cualquiera. Bueno, en cualquier momento. En cualquier momento. Yep. Uh -huh. Okay. All right, yeah. Thank you. Quizás annually is a little bit more formal, Edwin, but the meaning is the same. All right, yeah. Yeah, very good, Edwin, thank you. Yes, very good. Anybody else that has a question about time expressions or we are okay with that topic? Acuérdese que la pronunciación es once, para una vez es once, no es once, that's how you spell it. Then we have twice, it's not twice, it's twice. All right, so that's like something very important that you need to remember. Hi, Elizabeth. Good evening, Ellie. All right, Hi, very Jessica. good. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Hi, Norma. How are you? Le extrañamos yes, ayer, yes. what happened? <laughs> Yesterday I have a problem with my internet. Internet. Oh, yeah. All right, Ellie. That's okay. That happens. All right. Thank you. Very good. Okay. Hi, Norma. Hi, teacher. How are you today, Norma? Fine. Fine. Good. Good to hear. I'm fine. Thank you. Very good. Hi, Alex. Hey. I see Alex is also joining class. Very good. 
All right, guys, so that's what we were talking about yesterday, okay? So time expressions. Remember that it's once for one time, twice for two times, then we have three times, four times, and then whatever, how many times you need to, and they go at the end, all right? You can also say every, every day, every night, every afternoon, every weekend, every Saturday, depends what you want to say, you use every. Okay, then we also had um, monthly, yearly, annually, daily, all right? Todas esas son time expressions that we can use and we use them for simple present, okay? So that's what we uh, saw yesterday and I wanted to just make emphasis on it, all right? So today, guys, I'm going to, um, we're gonna talk a little bit about how much and how many, all right? So right now, if you have your book, if you have your manual, please um, get it out. If not, don't worry, I'm gonna share it with you, okay? So here we have, guys, uh, let me just find it here. So we finished this yesterday, time expressions for regular activities is finished. Today, we're going to talk about this one. Number one, let me see. Edwin Valmore, can you read? I will be able to. This part right here, Edwin, request. Request a specific personal finance information. A scan a specific information fields in an informative document. All right, very good, thank you. Number one, it says, let's start. How often do you have vacations at your job? All right, Galileo. How often? Uh, uh, Galileo, I want you to use a time expression when you give me your answer, okay? How often do you have uh, vacations at your job? I have vacation at my job once a month. Once a month, very good. Oh, really? Yeah. You are blessed. Very good. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I mean, the weekend is my vacation. Uh, okay. There are two days. Uh, yeah. Two días que yo descanso, te lo tomo como vacación. All right. Por, yeah, of uh, si hablamos uh, annually vacation mm -hmm. once uh, a year. Okay, yeah, very good, thank you, thank you. Very good, Luis Alfonso, what about you? How often do you have vacations at your job? Luis Alfonso, how often do you have vacations at your job? Yes, teacher, once a year. Once a year, okay, very good, once a year, very good. Or you can say yearly, you can say annually, all right? So we have three choices, very good, excellent, nice, thank you. What about Ellie? How often do you have vacations at your job, Ellie? Yes, Ellie, how often do you have vacations at your job? That's okay. I'm sorry. In three times in years. <gasps> really, Ellie? Yeah, three times a year, right? In, in, yes, three times. In, in April. Uh -huh. in April or April? In December. Excellent, Ellie. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. Yeah, so you have vacations three times a year. O ayer veíamos que hay una palabra que es como once or twice y podemos decir thrice. No es muy común, pero si existe thrice, it's okay, right? So very good, Ellie. Thank you. All right, let's see. Anna, Solis, how often do you have vacation at your job? Excuse me. Hello. Hey, Anna, how often do you have vacations at your job? Um, vacation. Mm -hmm. Um. Que si tengo vacaciones, dice, ¿verdad? Yeah, how often? ¿Qué tan seguido? <laughs> pues, I'm sorry, no vacation. No I vacation, don't have vacation. You don't have vacation. Full, full work. Oh, my God, Ana, really? Yes. Wow, okay. okay. ¿Cómo, se, cómo, ¿Cómo se dice cuando usted tiene su negocio propio? Ah, you have your own business. Business, yes. Your own no business. 
Yeah. No me puedo dar ese lujo todavía. Oh, no. <laughs> that's okay, Ana. But it's your own business, so that's very good. Thank you. Let's see. William, yes. what about you? William? Hello, teacher. How often do you have vacation at your job? Yes, teacher, three times annually. Oh, all right, three times a year, or okay, three times annually. Very good, interesting. What about Judith? How often do you have vacation at your job? Now I have a, well, by my position, uh -huh. only holidays. <laughs> only holidays. Oh my god. But goodness. this April, uh, this last week, uh, uh -huh. I have uh, since Tuesday. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Very good. That's very nice. Okay. Perfect. Let's see. Let's continue here then. Let me just share with you here. Okay. So here we have. Uh, it says, we're going to listen to this conversation, Ruth and Josh. It says, hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacations at your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacations. How many days do you have in your vacations? 20 days to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonuses. What about you? And how much do you receive? I have just two, but each bonus is for more than 600. Okay, so here, before we do the conversation, I want you to pay attention to the following. We have how many and we have how much. So today we're going to be talking about how many, how much. Countable nouns, uncountable nouns, okay? So I want you to pay attention to that later on. All right, let's see. Um, I want, let me see here. Blanca, can you be Ruth? And Edwin Valmore, can you be Josh, please? Okay. Thank you. I can't for two. Do you help by? Vacation and work. Yes, I do. How about you? Me too. I have train vacation. How many? How many days do you have in your vacation? Uh, Twenty days to be exact. Mm -hmm. How many bonus do you have per year? With I have for um, bonuses. Mm -hmm. What about, about you? Um, how much do you receive? Excellent. I have you too, but each bonus is for more than uh, 600. 600. 600. Yes, yeah, 600. Very good. Thank you. Let's see. Um, two more volunteers, please. Um, who wants to read? Who wants to be root? And I need a Josh. Me? Me? Okay, Ellie, you're going to be root and Josh, who's going to be Josh? Someone? Hey, Josh, me? I have okay. a question for you. Okay. Yeah. Who's Josh? Hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Hold I on, Ellie. Ellie, you. Ellie, wait. I don't know who's Josh. <laughs> who's reading Josh? Me, Josh. All right. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Thank you. My mistake. I don't, I, I don't understand. That's okay. No, Continue, I don't Ellie. understand. Uh, Ellie, you're Ruth, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Read. That's okay. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, Josh. I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacation at your job? I guess nobody's Josh. Galileo, can you continue reading? Please help me out. Okay. 
Yeah, yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacation. How many days do you have do you have in your vacation? 20 days to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonuses. What about you? And how much do you receive? Receive, yes. I have receive. just two, but each bonus is for more than 600. Mm -hmm. All right. I wish I could have that as a mm. bonus. <laughs> yes, Jessica. Yes, uh, Jessica. What is what is the what is that bonuses? Yes, bonuses. 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 Como uh -huh. bono, 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 Eli, bono. Mm. Como un extra que le pagan, un bono. All right. Mm. Uh -huh. Bonuses. Okay. So Thank in you. this case, it's bonuses mm -hmm. because it's like four. So that's plural. All right. It would four be bonus. Bonus. bonus is only one. Bonuses is for two or three or four or five. Mm. All right. Okay, okay. okay. very you. good. Yeah, thank you. Very good. Let's see. Um, William, I want you to be Josh and Dinora. Can you be Ruth, please? Okay, teacher. Okay. Hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have pay vacation at your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have pay vacation. How many do you have in your vacation? Mm -hmm. 20 days to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per, per year's food? Mm -hmm. I have four bonuses. What about you? And how much do you receive? I had just two, but it bonus is for more than 600. Excellent, very good, thank you. All right, guys, very good. Thank you for that. Uh, we have, let me see the pronunciation here. I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacations at your job? How about you? Da, da, da. How many days? Very good, 20 days. Bonuses. Bonus is one, bonuses is like many. All right, and then we have receive. The pronunciation is receive. All right, very good. And it says I have just two for each bonus. I get more than 600, all right? Los números es importante decirlos así. 600, very good. Revisen ahí por pronunciación o vocabulario. Y luego nos metemos de lleno al tema de many and much, countable and uncountable nouns. Questions about pronunciation or meaning of the words? No? Are you okay? Um, per? Ah, per. It's like, mm. uh, is bonuses it do you have per year? That's right. How many bonuses do you have per year is when we say por año. All right, you can say per mm. year. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Como, como, entonces no es for, for year. No, it's in per. this case, it would be for, like, instead of four, we say per year. All right, or you can say mm. how many bonuses do you have yearly or annually, all right? So, but if you're going to use year, you have to say per year, okay? Okay. Very good. Okay, thank guys, thank you. All right, any other question, guys, about the conversation or are we okay? We're fine? Perfect. Okay, so I want you to pay attention because we're going to talk a little bit about count and non-count nouns, okay? Let me see here. Um, if you don't know, tell me I don't know. If you know, then give me the example. Si no saben, no se preocupe. We're going to know about this today. All right. Let me see. Um, Alex. Hi, Alex. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. 
All right, Alex, give me one example, Alex. No se emocionen, only one, no mentira. Give me one example of count noun. What is a count noun? Give me one example, please. Do you know, Alex, an example of count noun? Um, I don't, I don't know, teacher. Okay. Uh, I, I count noun, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, that's Wait. okay. Perfect. Alex, oh, yeah. that, that's okay. Very good. Do you know one example of ca oops, count noun? Noun. Money. Money. Ah, mire qué interesante. Very good. So, lo, lo voy a dejar ahorita sí, pero ya vamos a ver si money is count or is non count, Dinora. All right? Non count. Uh, <laughs> all right, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, very good. Let's see. Um, Art teacher. Yes, please, Luis. Tell me one example. Uncountable. Which one? Uncountable star in the sky. Yes, uncountable. Very good. Yes. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. Let me see here. Bea, give me an example of countable noun, Bea. Beatriz? Can you give me an example of countable nouns? Days of the week. Perfect, yes, days of the week or days of the year, you can count, very good, thank you. All right, Carlos Antonio, give me an example of uncountable nouns or non-countable nouns. Can you give me an example, Carlos? Tenía el ejemplo del contable. <laughs> de lo que puede <laughs> Regale, <me> la... <laughs> That's okay, give it to me, Carlitos. Give me one, countable. No, uh -huh. numbers. Numbers, Numeros. yes, yes, you can count them. Very good. All right, very good. Thank you. Let's see. <laughs> Galileo, give Thank me you. an example of uncountable noun. Rice. Rice. Very good. All right. William, another one. Uncountable. Your microphone, William. Sorry, teacher. That's okay. Contable. Yeah. Non-countable. Non-countable. Mm -hmm. Frijoles, pero no sé cómo se dice. Ah, beans. Very good. Yes, very good. Beans. Very nice. Thank you. All right. Norma, can you give me an example of uncountable nouns, Norma? Uh, water. Water. Yes, very good. Blanca, another uncountable noun. I don't know. Okay, that's okay. That's fine, Gonzalo. An uncountable noun, Gonzalo. Pienso que, que eso fue lo que vieron mientras estaba ausente. Entonces, ahí sí no, no sé absolutamente nada. Eh, that's okay, Gonzalo. De hecho, no lo hemos visto. Ahorita estamos empezando, pero no se preocupe. Ahora right, ya vamos a saber qué son. Very good. Countable nouns and non-countable nouns. El último, Karina. Eh, uncountable nouns, Karina. Give me one example. Igual estoy perdida porque ya no me conecté. Ok, no sé, pero sí, Karina, ayer la extrañé. Si nos explica igual. de nuevo, si, le, si nos explica de nuevo, entonces le respondo. Claro que sí. De hecho, hasta hoy vamos a ver este tema. Ayer estábamos viendo Time Expressions, ok. Entonces es un tema nuevo para todos, así que no, no se preocupe y no hay ningún problema. All right, guys. So, in English, we have two types of nouns. Cuando hablamos de nouns, hablamos de sustantivo, hablamos de nombres, ok. For example, I say cell phone. That's a, how many cell phones do I have here? How many cell phones? One, two, three, four, how many? How many can you see? One. One, one, cell, one. one cell phone, yes. What about pencil? One. One, one very pencil. good, yes, okay. What about tape? Two. Two, two. very good. Pepe. I don't yes. know how much. Yeah, very good. Uh, what about this? How many? One glass. One glass. Solo tengo un ojo. Oh. A, par 
A pair of glasses. A pair of glasses. glasses. Very good. Glasses. A pair of glasses. Exactly. glasses. Very good. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Uh, let me see here. Mira que encontré algo por aquí. Can you see this? What are they? Los distinguen? No, you can't see. Leaves. Yeah, leaves. Very good. Leaves. All right. Countable noun. Quiere decir que cuando nosotros tenemos something that we can count, they are countable nouns. All right. So, for example, computers, pencils, cell phones, books, notebooks, cars. I think they can be people. Just. What else? Shoes, yes. What else? Uh, una consulta, teacher. Dígame, Karina. Eh, ¿En qué página está ese tema que está hablando? Ahorita le digo, estamos en la 14. Solo que ahorita solo acabamos de leer la conversación y estamos entrando en la explicación, Karina. All right? Pero ahí está. El, se introduce el tema en la página 14. All right, what else, guys? Uh -huh, teacher. Yes, very good. Yes. Yeah, very good. What else? One more, one, tell me more countable nouns, guys. I want to know. What about windows? Yes or no? Can you count the oh, windows? Yes. Cars. Yes, Cars. Cars, very good. Yes. Cars. Doors. House. Can you count doors? Yes. 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 Can you count teachers? Yes. Yes. Can you count students? What? Students, what? can you, excuse me, can you count the yes. students? Yes, teacher. Yes, very good. Yes, you did. I can see your cars. Very good. Perfect. Okay. So, and we have no uh, countable nouns and non-countable nouns. Cuando hablamos de non-countable nouns, they are things that we cannot count. All right. For example, water. You cannot count water. Cuando usted agarra un Toma agua. Usted no dice una agua, dos aguas, tres aguas, cuatro aguas. Puede contar el recipiente donde está el agua. A glass, a bottle, a cup. All right. Pero usted no dice, va tragando y no dice uno, dos, tres. Mentira. No, you don't do that, right? So, liquids you cannot count. All right. Coffee. The cups, yes. Cups of coffee, yes. But the liquid, no. All right. What about feeling? When I say, I love you, all right? Do I, is it countable? I say, I love you one, I love you two, I love you three, I love you four? Not to check. No, no, all right? So feelings are non-countable. All right, feelings are non-countable, okay? Aunque las mujeres sí los cuentan. I don't know about that, but eh, no nos vamos a meter en esos líos, all right? <laughs> countable or uncountable, all right? Solo deme un segundito. Give me a second, guys. All right, very good. Okay, entonces eso nos lleva a lo siguiente, que es esto. Okay, I want you to see this. I'm going to make it bigger so you guys can see it. All right, count nouns. Y decimos, count nouns are nouns, nombres o sustantivos, which can be counted. One, two, three, four, five, a million, a thousand, two billion, whatever. All right? That means that there, that there can be more than one. For example, boy... Sorry, I say one boy or I say 20 boys. I say five dogs or I say one dog. One book or 10 books or many books. Restaurants, sandwich, strawberries, okay? So these are nouns that I can count, okay? Count nouns use indefinite article a or an before singular count nouns. Yo puedo decir I have, a ver, voy a regresar con el ejemplo de lápiz. I can say I have one pencil, porque solo ve, tengo uno aquí, I have one pencil, or I can say I have a pencil. El a me indica uno. Entonces, yo puedo decir, I have a pencil or I have one pencil. 
And it's okay. Usted entiende que tengo. I only have one. 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 All right. So I say I have a or I have one. I have a computer or I have one computer. All right. So remember that. Esto aplica for count nouns. Okay. So let's go back to the presentation here. Hold on, guys. All right. And before singular count nouns, ¿ok? Acordémonos que el artículo, indefin el, el artículo indefinido a or an depende del, del sonido con el que inicia la siguiente palabra. All right? Va, va a ser a o va a ser an, ¿ok? So it will depend on how the word is pronounced, all right? Here... Eso es lo que se refiere acá. Use a before words that start with a consonant sound. And use an before words that start with a vowel sound. ¿Ok? No se vaya a confundir. Depende del sonido, no de la escritura en sí. Es depende del sonido si usted va a poner a o va a poner an. Independientemente, it means one. ¿Ok? Yeah. Yes. I have a question. What's your question? Es, este, entonces, an, a, en an ya no se usaría, eh, por ejemplo, a cuando es una consonante y an cuando es vocal. Cuando en suena caso, como. En ese wow. caso, cuando es plural o cuando es singular. Eh, el artículo indefinido, William, como me denota uno, ¿ok? Solo lo voy a ocupar para decir que es uh, uno. uno. All right. Correcto. Pero, ajá. Uh -huh. Pero en, 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 en el módulo anterior se dijo de que este, si se usaba A cuando uh -huh. la palabra empezaba con consonante. Cuando, eh, cuando la siguiente palabra suena como consonante, no empiece con consonante. Ah, okay. ok, entonces nos tenemos que fijar mucho en el sonido, William. All right? No Perfecto. si se escribe o no. Por ejemplo, si usted dice uh, umbrella, empieza con U, ¿cierto? Entonces usted dice, I have an umbrella. Es la U, pero suena a. An umbrella. Pero tiene university. Y también empieza con U, pero no suena como U, suena como university, suena como una consonante. Entonces decimos, I go to a university. Entonces tenemos que fijarnos o poner atención en cómo suena la siguiente palabra. Tenemos hotel y tenemos Igual la H en una es muda y en otra suena como J. A, hour, en ese caso no es que sea muda, suena como vocal. Hour, all right? An hour. Pero usted dice, I go to a hotel. Es la misma H, solo que una suena como vocal y la otra como consonante. Entonces, okay. de eso va a depender mi artículo indefinido, si es a o an. Pero independientemente, William, si es A or AN, me denota uno. Ok, yeah, very good. So, it's for yeah, singular, great. pretty much. Ok, very yeah. good. Thank you. All right, let's continue here. Ok, veamos acá entonces. Count nouns, words that begin with a consonant use. A teacher, a hat, a flashlight a mountain, a rabbit, a calculator, a donut. Usualmente la mayoría de veces empieza con una consonante, ok, pero nos fijamos. A eso me refería yo. Que es, eso es casualidad, pues, por eso Ajá. confundimos la regla, ¿verdad? Sí, Entonces es la bien. regla es por sonido, no por escritura, ok. Y luego tenemos an artist, an onion, an umbrella, an elephant, an iron, an elevator, an egg. All right? Now, everything here is one. How many rabbits? How many rabbits, guys? Yes. How many? One, one. one two, three. Yes. One. one. Very good. One. How many elephants? One. 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 How many one. teachers? One. One. Uh -huh. How many eggs? One. One. ¿Cómo sabemos que es one? Porque tenemos el artículo indefinido a or an. 
Evidentemente, tells us it is only one. ¿Ok? Exception. All right. Y eso es lo que estábamos hablando eh, anteriormente. Si es una, la H, por ejemplo, tenemos que escuchar si va a sonar como consonant o como vowel. Y de ahí va a depender si usted dice a o an. ¿Ok? But that's like the sound of it. ¿Ok? Now, usually count nouns can be singular or plural. To form the plural of most count nouns, you have to add S, ES, or IES. ¿Ok? Tenemos que recordar esta regla también. Por lo general, los count nouns solo le agregamos la S, pero no a todos. ¿Ok? For example, you say one student or 20 students. One brush or two brushes. Y aquí cambia, le agregamos ES porque termina en SH. Es muy preciso a, tercera, a la regla de la tercera persona singular para los verbos. All right? Tray, trays. Country, countries. All right? El punto acá es que yo puedo pluralizar el sustantivo. Tengo un estudiante y tengo 20 estudiantes. Tengo un cepillo o tengo tres cepillos. All right? So I can make it singular or I can make it plural. All right? Ese es la, lo que hacemos con los count nouns. Okay? But, okay. all right? But we have irregular count nouns. Cuando hablamos de eh, sustantivos irregulares o nombres irregulares es que su plural cambia totalmente, no le voy a agregar ese. Por ejemplo, men y men, woman and women, child, children, tooth, teeth, feet, person, people. Usted no, por ejemplo, yo tengo tres hijos, yo no voy a decir I have three children's. Porque ya está pluralizado el children. Entonces, si yo le digo, I have three children, es como que yo le diga, tengo tres niños. Es, 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 es. All right? Entonces, estoy pluralizando el plural. Ya no puedo hacer eso. Entonces, yo digo, I have three children. All right? Or, usted dice, ay, me duelen los dientes. My teeth hurt. Or teacher. Or teacher. Yes, Luis. Please repeat the example, uh, children. Yeah, children is already plural, Luis, all right? Yeah. In, in, my ex, in my example, I have three children. I cannot say I have three children's. All right. All right? Okay, because that would be pluralizing the plural, and that's not possible, okay? What did you say? Please repeat. I have three children. Okay. Si yo digo, I have, yes. If I say I have three children's, Está malo, porque entonces estoy diciendo tengo tres niños. Es, 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 cuando vemos, eh, ¿cómo se llama el, el superhéroe que se sube en las paredes? Spider-Man. Spider-Man. All right, very good. ¿Por qué? Porque solo hay uno. Spider-Man, Batman, Superman. Es este, es este que están usando. Si hubieran más, dijeran Superman. All right, Spider-Man. All right, this one right here. So it's a Superman. Spider-Man, all right? Woman, women. Y hay otros más irregulares, pero la mayoría le voy a agregar S al sustantivo to make it plural, okay? Questions, do we have questions? No? Solo una, una consulta. Aquí yes, Luis. Más. Esta, esta presentación que tenemos ahorita en pantalla es su preparación en PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. Sí, sí, usted no, no, no la puede compartir. Se la puedo teacher. subir a la plataforma, Luis, con mucho gusto, oye. ¿O mandarla sí. al grupo, teacher? Fíjese que eh, nosotros ahorita solo podríamos subirla a la plataforma, ahí la voy a subir mañana, 
para que usted tenga okay. acceso a ella, oye, porque sí, todo se sube a través de la plataforma en este caso, oye, pero sí, yo se la subo con mucho gusto. All right. Very good. Okay, thank okay. You. you're welcome. All right. Veamos aquí. Count nouns can be counted with numbers. For example, professor, one professor, cookie, two cookies, a state, así como los estados en Estados Unidos, 13 states, rabbit, 10 rabbits. Okay, si tenemos más de uno, usted puede decir cuántos. Yo puedo decir, I have 20 students, or I have 15 students. I can say a number. All right, esto pasa con los count nouns, ¿ok? Todo eso estamos hablando de los contables, sustantivos o nombres contables, count nouns, ¿ok? Ok, a ver, paro acá un ratito, un segundito. All right, do you have any questions about count nouns? ¿Vamos entendiendo lo que son count nouns? Yes. Yeah, so, so. All right. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. All right. Very good. Thank you. All right. I'm going to continue with non count nouns. Okay. Or countable nouns. A ver. So we say here non count nouns are nouns which cannot be counted or are difficult to count. Okay. For example, time. All right. Rice, como decía Galileo, rice, juice, all right, weather, el clima, jewelry, all right, pollution, butter, pollution es contaminación, butter, all right, we cannot count those, okay, vamos a ver cuáles no podemos contar and why, okay. Antes de empezar con eso, vamos a recordar esto. Non-count nouns. Estamos con los no contables. Do not use a or an or one. Porque como son, como se ve como grupo, no puedo decir a porque el a me denota uno. O tampoco an porque igual me denota uno. Y peor one porque me denota uno. Entonces eso lo haría contable. Pero estos no se pueden. All right, they are non-count. So, a non-count noun does not have a plural. ¿Se acuerda que los contables yo digo? Boy, boys, teacher, teachers, computer, computers, woman, women. All right, but in non-count nouns, en los que no se cuentan, no lo puedo pluralizar. Yo no puedo venir y decir rice, rices. Rices. <laughs> Ajá. I cannot say, I don't know, um, coffee and coffees, all right? So you, you cannot do that. Or love, loves, hate, hates, no. Como yes. sustantivo, no, okay? We use quantifiers to help count noun, uh, to help count non-count nouns. Los quantifiers son cuando yo digo mucho, poco, bastante. Eh, más o menos, all right, esos son los quantifiers, ok, vamos a ver. Noun count nouns are classified into five different groups, ok. For example, group A, nouns that have no distinct separate parts. You look at the whole part, vemos todo como entero acá. Milk, usted no puede separar las partes de la leche. All right, oil, no, water, no, coffee, no, por, por lo general bebidas, all right, o líquidos, teas, yogurt, air, pork, cholesterol, paper, soup, bread, meat, butter, poultry, you cannot separate, okay, it's one thing, lo ve como conjunto, lo ve como un todo, okay, group B, that have parts that are too small or insignificant to count. Volvemos a el ejemplo de rice. Podríamos contarlo, pero no sé quién tendría el tiempo de vaciar una libra de arroz y empezar a contar cada granito. All right, that would be almost very impossible, a menos que sea su terapia y quizás lo pueda hacer. All right. Lo mismo pasa con hair, a menos que solo tenga un pelito. All right, you can say I have one hair. Pero si tiene más pelito, entonces you cannot count hair. All right, or sand, or snow, corn, 
salt, sugar, grass, popcorn, you cannot count it, okay? All right. ¿Qué pasa con el grupo C? Nouns that are classes or categories of things. The members of the category are not the same. Y aquí vemos el ejemplo de money. Y usted me puede decir, teacher, pero money, yo puedo contar el dinero. Sí, lo puede contar. Si divide las unidades, si separa las unidades, yo digo, tengo tres centavos, diez centavos, tengo quince centavos, all right? Pero money, como tal, dinero, I cannot really count it, all right? Entonces, igual, por ejemplo, um, when I say fruit, all right? Fruit is non-countable, porque dentro del grupo hay bananas, apples, watermelon, melon, pear, peach, coconut, different um, units, okay? So fruit is non-countable. Lo mismo pasa con vegetables, all right? Porque cuando hablamos de vegetables, eh, podemos hablar de tomatoes, potatoes, lettuce, onion, carrots, um, broccoli, cauliflower, whatever. Diferentes que yo le diga, Galileo, how many bananas do you eat in a day? And Galileo me dice, uh -huh, Galileo, how many bananas do you eat a day? Uh, zero. I don't eat banana. <laughs> and let's, let's pretend you do, Galileo, all right? I, I eat uh, uh, twice bananas a day. Okay, so you eat two bananas a day, or you eat uh, uh, twice, yeah. or twice, two. all right? Two, two bananas, okay? Yeah, two bananas. Because they are countable. They, can, they become countable. Si yo le pregunto, you did how many mangoes do you eat? Judith, uh -huh. no había activado. <laughs> I eat, well, today I eat one. <laughs> okay, so one mango. Oh, yeah. Once. Entonces, Once si divido. Okay, yeah. yes. That's question you must do to me. <laughs> ah, mangoes, you eat a lot of mangoes. I eat at least three mangoes a day. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh my goodness. All right. Very good. Entonces. This one, yes. Yeah. Very good. Si yo digo, how much fruit do you eat? Cuando yo digo, pregunto por fruta y no especifico cuál fruta, se vuelve no contable. Pero si yo vengo y digo bananas or apples or strawberries or coconut, entonces ahí se vuelve contable. Igual que en el dinero, money como tal is non-countable. Pero si yo le digo dimes, nickels, pennies, dollars, all right? And then it becomes countable, all right? The same thing happens with furniture. Yes, Elizabeth, what's your question? In, in the vegetable is no, no countable. That's right. But the word, but the word vegetable is plural. How much vegetable do you eat? Vegetables is like the name in general, Elizabeth, but it's not that it's plural, that's the name. Mm. All right, the name is okay. fruits or vegetables, like a category, all right? But it doesn't mean that it's plural. It's just the name. Mm -hmm. All right, it's not that it is, like, I say one vegetables or two vegetables, all right? Vegetables is like the name of the category, all right? Now, within the vegetables, I have many different types of vegetables, all right, or veggies, okay? But the name itself, it's vegetables, all right? Mm -hmm. Very good. All right, any, okay. in, very good. Any Thank other you. question? Thank you. Any other question, guys? All right. Let's continue para ver los otros grupos de los non-count nouns, all right? So, furniture, que son muebles, no los contamos, es no contable a menos que se pare y diga chairs, tables, sofa, beds, ahí sí. Ropa, clothing, the same. I say sweaters, pants, dresses, t-shirts, skirts, scarves, all right? Those are countable. But the name or the category, 
All right, it is non count. Uh, we keep on talking about here mail, fruit, makeup, homework, time, crime. All right, those are non countable nouns, okay? They are because they are a category here. Okay. Let, then we have group D that are abstractions. Usually, feelings of abstracto. Love, life, time, truth, beauty, luck, fun, help, advice, knowledge, nutrition, intelligence, employment, patience, noise, information, happiness, education, experience, crime, music, art, work, and health, all right? Because they, they, they are considered like abstracted or like abstractions or nouns that are like abstracted, all right? So they are non-countable. Uh, then we have noun count, uh, non count nouns, nouns that are subjects of a study, history, chemistry, English, zoology, grammar, Spanish, art, biology, math. Y aquí se da el ejemplo de Elizabeth cuando decimos mathematics, all right? El nombre es así, pero no quiere decir que... All right, mathematics, y lo dice abajo, even though mathematics ends with S, it is not plural. The same thing happens with vegetables, all right? Geography, music, all right? So when you talk about subject of a study, they are not pluralized. They are non-count nouns. Here is otra lista de, de todo lo que hemos visto hasta ahorita de los non-count uh, nouns, all right? Igual yo voy a subir la presentación mañana dentro de la plataforma, dentro de la clase de ahora, ¿ok? Entonces usted la puede buscar para tener referencia de la misma. All right, ahora, eh, preguntas de los count nouns o los de los count or non-count nouns, guys. Do you have any questions about that right now? No questions? No questions. All right. Okay. So what happens? How many and how much? Son preguntas que se van muy de la mano. ¿Por qué vimos todo esto? Porque van de la mano de los countable and uncountable nouns, el how much y how many. All right. With how many, vamos a usar countable nouns. It's a question. For example, I say, um, I don't know. Uh, let me see here. Um, Carlos Alfredo, how many cell phones do you have? Uh, I have a cell phone. Okay, very good, very good. All right. I say, um, eh, Olga, how many, I don't know, how many, um, what, how many, Earrings do you have? I have a work parts. Okay, very good. Yes, thank you. Very good. Uh, I can ask you, for example, Alex, um, how many days are in a week, Alex? Um, seven days. Seven days. Very good. All right. Very good. Um, Galileo, how much do you love your children? Uh, a lot, infinity. Okay. Very good, a lot. No me dijo one, no me dijo two, porque él ama mucho a sus hijos, all right, e hijas. So, how much? El much va relacionado con el non-count noun, y el many with count nouns, all right? Now, how much is the question? How much, um, I don't know, how much pollution is there in San Salvador? How much vegetables do you eat in a week? How many cars do you have? How many necklaces do you have? Entonces, vamos a ir preguntando with how much and how many, all right? Depending on what you're using. Do you have any sure. questions so far? Yes. Uh, if I... If I want to ask somebody, mm -hmm. 
uh, about uh, how much or how many water do you drink uh, a day? Mm -hmm. uh, debe ser how much or how many? How much? How much? How much? If you ask it, Galileo, like an, a general question, how much water do you drink a day? If you ask me, que no lo haga, por favor, because I don't drink any. All right, I would say I don't drink any water. All right, or I, I drink a little water. All right, so how much? But you can say, Jessica, how many glasses of water do you drink a day? All right, so with the container, uh, Galileo, uh, you use how many? For example, I can say, uh, Beatriz, how many cups of coffee do you drink a day? Yeah. All right. How many, how many liters of yeah. water do you, do so you drink a the, day? The containers, you count uh, them, all right? So, Bea, in your, exa in your uh, case, Beatriz, how many cups of coffee do you drink a day? Two. Two, all right, okay. I in, can... Uh -huh. in the, the question uh, uh, must be specifically. Yes, yes. Uh, the container... Uh, cuántos, cuántos litros, cuántas copas, cuántas tazas, yeah. Cuántos vasos, cuántas botellas, cuántas bolsas, yes. All right. Container is countable. All right. But if you just ask, for example, I can ask two ways, Galileo. For example, I just ask Beatriz, how many cups of coffee? And she answered two. Or I can say, Bea, how much coffee do you drink a day? And she can say, mm, not so much because it's only two cups. All right, so it depends on the question that would depend on which one you use, if how many or how much. Okay, okay. very good. Okay, let's see, Elizabeth, how many, how many women are in this class? Can you count how many women, Ellie? I don't know. <laughs> Let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like about nine, ten women. Can I see you? <laughs> Can I see you? Twenty yeah. right now. How many women? We're 20, not twenty. Twenty one with you, teacher. Women. Ah, I'm sorry. I, in general. <laughs> No, yeah, like how many people? 21 with me, right? But how many women? I think it's 10 and like 11 boys. Nine? That. Nine? Okay, <laughs> very good. All right. 10, 10, 10 11. Me. Oh, 11. With you? Right. Okay, with very me. good. 11 with me. All right. So we have how many and how much? Okay. Do we understand? Sure. Yes, uh, Ellie. I have, I have. I have a question yes. in how many or how much. No, hay una gramática para responder así como, por ejemplo, do you like pupusas? I like pupusas. Oh, yes, I do. Sí, no sé si es un... Sí, de uh -huh. hecho, de oh, yes. hecho uh -huh. sí, Eli. Eh, por ejemplo, cuando yo le digo, yo le puedo preguntar, how many brothers do you have? Y usted me dice, I have two brothers, por decir algo, ¿ok? Con los contables es más fácil because you can tell me the number, all right? You can say two, five, 20. So usted me pregunta, teacher, how many students do you have? I can say I have 20 students. Or, no soy tan específica, y usted me dice, teacher, how many students do you have? Y usted puede ocupar un quantifier, y yo le digo, I have many students. Many, eh, me denota muchos, pero no le estoy diciendo esa exactamente cuántos. Many para mí, Puede ser relativo, 10 pueden ser many, 100 pueden ser many, 20 pueden ser many. Usted sabe que, al menos sabe que tengo más de uno. All right? Okay, so you can say with many, okay. I have many. Ahora, con los no contables, Eli, eso es obviamente para todos, como no usamos número, con los contables, usted no puede decir eh, lo que yo le preguntaba a Galileo, ¿cuánto quiere usted a sus hijos o cuánto ama usted a sus hijos? Y él me dijo mucho. I love them very much. Usamos quantifiers. Much, a lot, all right, some. Y eso lo vamos a ir viendo en estos días igual, eh, donde ya hablamos un poco más de los quantifiers, all right. Ahorita es como el intro para entender 
los count nouns, non count nouns, el how much y el how many. ¿Ok? Entonces sí usamos mucho los quantifiers y vamos usando los Eli en forma, eh, en una forma que podemos entender, perdón, la voy a... We can use, for example, some, we can use many, we can use much, all right? ¿Y cuáles vamos a ocupar nada más para no contables? ¿Cuáles vamos a ocupar solo para contables? ¿Y cuándo podemos usar cualquiera para ambos? Entonces, sí hay una estructura, Eli, hay una regla, digamos, okay? So, we're going to see that, Eli. Very good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, very good. Okay, so, any other question? No questions? Teacher. Yes. Uh, I confused. Eh, usted estaba diciendo de que se usaba how many para cantidades pequeñas. Sí. Así lo... El how many lo ocupo, Carla, si usted lo quiere eh, ver así. El how many lo ocupo para sustantivos que puedo contar. Independientemente si sea cantidad pequeña o cantidad de millones o billones. Ah, ok. Yo le digo, uh, how many babies do you have? Y usted me dice, one. One. Ok, o le digo, how many people are in the world? Y usted me dice, dos billones, no sé cuántos habrán. Two billion people, all right? El how many es para contable, independientemente sea uno o miles de millones. Ok, uh, okay. all right. Y el how much, Carlita, es para lo que no puede cantar. Perdón, contar, no cantar. Contar, all right? Un poco, no puedo cantar. <laughs> Very good. All right. Excelente. Ok. Very Thank nice. You. Ok. Voy a pasar la asistencia a la segunda hora y vamos a hacer ejercicios sobre how much y how many. Ok. Alex Humberto Saldaña Rodríguez. Present teacher. Ana Beatriz Pineda Olmedo. Present. Ana Judith Portillo Bautista. Present. Blanca Elizabeth Alvarenga Mejía. Present. Very good. Um, Carlos Alfredo Portillo Núñez. Present. Carlos Antonio Escobar Hernández. Present. Dinora Alejandra Alfaro Corea. Present. Edwin Valmore Flores Gómez. Present. Elmer Ubaldo Ramírez Cruz. Present. Francisca Elizabeth Martinez Gámez. I am here. Thank you. Valle Valle. Present teacher. José Eduardo Guzmán Álvarez. Present. José Galileo Barrera Hernández. Present teacher. Carla Marisol Escobar Arbaiza. Present. Luis Alfonso Martínez Pérez. Present teacher. Luis Manuel Muñoz Acevedo. Eh, Norma Lisset Quintana Mancía. Present. Olga Marina Contreras Acosta. Present. Thank you. Eh, William Mauricio González García. I'm here. Yolanda Melanie Pérez Enríquez. Ada Karina Cruz García. Present teacher. Ann Ana Karin Solís López. Anita, Ana Solís. All right, very good, guys. Estamos, solo nos faltó una compañera este día. Yeah. Super bien. Thank you, Ana. Ya le pasé la asistencia. Thank you. Yes. All right, very good. <laughs> okay, that's okay. What are we going to do right now, guys? This is what I want you to do right now. I want you to go to your groups and I want you to... Uh, write count nouns and I want you to write non-count nouns, ok? Eh, solo déjenme ponerles aquí, quiero ver una cosa. Just give me a second guys, hold on. Just give me a second, guys. Hold on. Um... 
Saben que vamos a ver, les voy a poner igual las categorías. Ok. ¿Se recuerdan las cinco? No sé si lograron copiar las cinco categorías de los non-count nouns. ¿Se recuerdan las cinco categorías? A, B, C, D, E. ¿Ya? Yeah? ¿O no? No, teacher. Ok, no se preocupe. No. A ver. A ver, ok. Yeah, I'm gonna... You have it, ok. Algunos sí lo lograron copiar, otros no. A ver, eh, explico rapidito aquí. Categoría A o el grupo A es cuando vemos eh, que no podemos separar las unidades y lo vemos como un todo. All right? Leche, oils, generalmente líquidos, ok. El B, no sé, no sé si les sale mejor tomarle foto para que no estén escribiendo y luego les voy a explicar qué van a hacer. Luego el B está aquí. Hold on, I'm just going to make it bigger here. Ok, that's group A. Yeah, that's group A. This is group B, all right. Eh, nouns that have parts that are too small. Que su, hablamos de sustantivos o nombres que las partes son muy chiquitas o muy insignificantes para contar. Ok, that's part B o group B. Take a picture if you want, porque les voy a dejar una tarea ahorita. Group C, cuando hablamos de categorías y dentro de esta categoría, las unidades de esta categoría son diferentes. Por ejemplo, ya hablamos de food, vemos vegetables, meats, fruits. Candy, all right, furniture, clothing, ese es el, el grupo C. Y aquí continúa más ejemplos del grupo C. All right. Then we have group D, que son ab abstractos, ¿verdad? Ideas como abstractas acá. All right. Luego tenemos, ups, ups, sorry, 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 sorry. Uy. Tenemos acá el grupo E que hablamos de materias, de estudio, ¿verdad? Ese sería el grupo E. ¿Qué van a hacer? Cuando lleguen a su grupo, a sus grupos, y estén hablando de los non-count nouns, quiero que you guys think of three more examples de cada, de cada grupo, A, B, C, D, E, que no esté en la foto. All right, porque si está ahí, ya no, ya no tenemos que hacer más nada. Si ya dice milk, no me ponga milk, ponga otra cosa. All right, tres por categoría, A, B, o grupo, A, B, C, D, E, eso para sería los non-count nouns. Para los contables, all right, piensen, como los contables son, más, son muchos más, o es más fácil, I want you, well, lo vamos a dividir de dos formas. Vamos a pensar en... En cinco, quiero ver. No, en seis. En seis count nouns, all right, donde dos, solo, solo se le agrega, cuando lo pluralizo, lo, solo le agrego S. En otros dos, cuando lo pluralizo, le agrego ES. Y cuando la, los otros dos, cuando lo pluralizo, le agrego IES. All right. Dos, cuatro, tenemos seis ahí. Los otros cuatro quiero que encuentren nombres o sustantivos irregulares cuando lo pluralizo. Por ejemplo, child, children. No pueden usar los que ya vieron porque ese sería trampa. All right, I want you to think of more. Porque hay más. Ok. ¿Entendimos lo que vamos a hacer? ¿Y cuáles son los otros? ¿Cuáles otros, Eli? A ver, yo de más. a ver, de los, ahorita de los count nouns estamos hablando. Quiero 10 en total. Dos de los count nouns vas a hacer que cuando usted lo, plur, lo pluralice solo le agrega ese. Por ejemplo, boy, boys. All right. Toy, toys. 
Ya, ya, ya le dije eso, ya no puede poner eso. Otros dos, Eli, cuando usted lo pluralice, le tiene que cambiar a ES, cuando lo ponga en su forma plural. Ahí van cuatro. Los otros dos, cuando lo pluralice, tiene que cambiar su escritura en IES. All right. Y los otros cuatro, para llegar a los diez, son los irregulares. Por ejemplo, child, children, man, men, woman, women. All right. Pero eso ya no los puede poner porque ya se los di yo. Tiene que pensar en otros cuatro. Ok. Ok. <laughs> Oye, si no se van a hacer tanta bola con tanta cosa. All right. Very good. All right, guys. Let's go back to your groups. All right. So you can practice. Si en caso no les quedó claro algo, me avisan, me llaman y yo llego por ahí. Ok. Just count. count. Both, Ana. Count nouns and non-count nouns. De los non-count nouns. Eh, tienen que escribir tres, creo que les dije, por grupo, A, B, C, D, E. So, I'm just going to make ten groups. All right, guys.
podría ser en el mismo, en el A. El A. Sí. Eh, ahí bueno, pero, pero, pero tratemos de entender el B. El B. El grupo B son cosas que no se pueden eh, contar así minuciosamente, como decía, como el raíz, que es el arroz. Ajá, el azúcar. Lluvia, sal, nieve, arena. Core es maíz. Ah, pues, que es el maíz, el cabello, la grasa, las Gras. palitas de maíz. Grasa es grasa, ¿verdad? No sé, fíjese. Ahorita veamos. Gras. ¿Cuál, Carlita? Gras. Gris. Gris, Gris. ajá. G-R-E-A-S-E. -E. Ah, es este. Ah, grass. Grass es grass. El drama. Ajá. Drama, ¿verdad? Ah, sí. oh, drama. Ya están todos los ejemplos que pudiéramos poner. Mentira. Son cosas que no se pueden separar, ¿verdad? A ver, el arroz. ¿Y qué más comemos nosotros? Ah, beans. Eh, ah, beans. beans. Vaya, ya ve, ya le dije uno. Beans. Eh. Hay gente que le pone sal o qué más. Eh, Paper. Pepper, 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 pimienta, pepper. very good, ya ven, ya van otra. Que se asocia, <risa> hay que ir buscando ahí. Pepper, condiment, condiment, teacher, los yeah. condimentos. Spices. Spice, ajá, especie, uh -huh. perdón. Ah, uh -huh. pues ya está el grupo B, vamos al grupo C, Carlitos. Okay. Ahí queda esa teacher que la vamos a necesitar, pero no se nos va <risa> El ya. grupo C son sí. categorías, eh, este es más genérico, el que encierra. Money, el food, el candy. Son los dulces, el dinero, la comida, la ropa. Ese, ese el grupo C es como... Encierra como lo, lo... Ay, se me fue la idea que tenía. Como que representa categorías de cosas. Ajá. O sea, por decirle... Quiero ver. Como grupos de cosas, ¿verdad? Eh, por ejemplo, de books, es como una biblioteca, digamos, que hay libros. Sería así, algo así, dicho. O un libro con un montón de páginas. No, pe, 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 papel no. Ese estaba en la categoría. Ajá, no, pero me pero, pero una biblioteca. Una, una biblioteca, sí. Biblioteca sí la puede contar. Y los libros de la biblioteca también. Sí. Entonces, y podemos poner también eh, los, la, las palabras en un periódico. <ríe> no se puede encontrar. Pero sí puede, o sea, estaría como medio <ríe> eh, crazy, pero sí las pudiera contar. Sí, verdad, en, en, en la computadora, ahora con las tecnologías. Las estrellas del cielo. <ríe> Está. No la puedo contar, está. Ajá. Sí, pero, pero, ¿bajo qué categoría están ellas? O sea, pues, por ejemplo, las cuando hablamos de categorías es lo que le decía, ¿verdad? Frutas. Está en la categoría. Frutas. Tres, teacher. O galaxias, o qué? galaxias, por ejemplo. Ajá. Galaxies. Sure, I guess, or constellations. Constellation. Constellation. De células del cuerpo. <laughs> sure, <No>. yeah. <laughs> Body cell sería, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. mm, 
moléculas. ¿Cómo es moléculas? Moléculas. Molecules. Moléculas. Pero. Pero ese es. Sí, supongo. <risa> es que no sé, estoy pensando. Pero ¿bajo qué categoría estarían ellas? Solo es algo que no se puede contar, por eso lo, 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 lo pensé. Pero sí, no yeah, es una, como una categoría. Entonces Ajá. sería, teacher, mejor en, en la categoría C, body cells. Ah, uh, maybe body cells could be, uh -huh. Uh -huh. body cells. En vez de moléculas, ¿verdad? Sure, ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ok. Eh, los dientes, no todos completos. <risa> no, pero los dientes sí los puede contar. <risa> Sí. Ay, yo tengo tanto. ¿Sabe que... Ah, bueno. Ese, no, en los abstractos no ha llegado, ¿verdad? A ver. Food. ¿Sabe qué puede ser? Dairy products. Dairy son los lácteos. Porque dentro de los lácteos es el queso, el, la crema, el requesón, el no sé qué. Dairy ese sí, ese sí sería, sería una categoría. Sí, exacto. Ese sí es una categoría. Dairy products. Dairy products. Bien, bien, bien coquetona lo dice la ticha. Yo un día voy a hablar así hoy. <risa> ok. <risa> claro que va a hablar así, Carlita. Va a ver. Mire a su niña, no? no le he visto. ¿Qué pasó? La tiene mi mami que dice de que quiere que me concentre. <risa> Ahí está. <risa> Es que le ha agarrado mamitis, entonces la esconden porque si no empieza a llorar y a llorar y no se tranquiliza. Sí. Viera que hoy está más con mamitis. Así que no me la ponen enfrente por, porque si no, no recibo la clase tranquila y si sí está bien traviesa. Ajá. Así que ni modo, tengo que, me la tienen que esconder a la chiquitina. Ok. Teacher, ¿se puede poner una categoría como de carnes? Sí, sí. De, de, de meat. Meat, ajá. Ese siempre sería en el mismo, Carlitos. Sí, en el grupo C, de categoría. Lo voy a dejar un ratito, voy a ir a otro grupo para ver cómo van, ¿ok? Ok, thank you. Thank you. Vaya, vale, Carlita, ahí nos pasamos al grupo D. D, que es el amor, la vida, el tiempo, la verdad. En el, en el grupo D son cosas que son abstractas. A veces D. Ajá. ¿Cómo le voy a decir a la Galileo, ¿qué pasa? Nada, we are, we are eh, philosophing. All right. Yeah, with, With how With much? Ah, okay. How much and how many? With uh, uncountable or, or non-countable, sorry. We are philosophy. Ah, okay. Very good. Did you know all these categories, Galileo? Yeah. Yeah, I have. I know. Uh, for example, for example, we was talking about a uh, wing. In the category D. Okay. Uh, the wind mm -hmm. is abstract. Yes, it is. Because we can't feel, but we can see it. We can't see it. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we can say, uh, How much wind do you feel in your face, for example? Right, yeah. Yeah, and so. En ese sentido estábamos filosofando. Oh, all right, very good. Pero ya sabían esas categorías antes, no, Galileo. No. Okay. Oh, it, it my first time. Oh, really? Yeah. That's good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, este. Luis, Luis Manuel is with you guys too, okay? Acaba de unirlo. Lo acabo de unir a Luis Manuel. Okay. Acaba de entrar, okay. Hi, Luis. Welcome. But I think it's, oh yeah. Hi, hi, teacher, I had a problem with my internet. Okay, yeah, I, I saw that you, uh, Luis, but don't worry, okay? No, thank you for being in class again. Okay. And I don't know what we are doing. 
Um, right now, uh, Luis Manuel, they are writing examples of each category for the non count nouns. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. And only we can uh, read it. Yeah, you're writing it, but you are supposed to get more examples, not the ones that are already given to you. For example, rain? Sure, yes, rain would be. For an abstract, maybe. For the, the other yeah, category yeah. that you have, yep. Okay. So I'm gonna go to another group, guys, to see how they are doing, okay? Teacher. Yes, Galileo. I have a question. Uh-huh. Oh, muy bien. I don't understand the group E. Okay. I, I now, our study. Um, me, uh, son, nos referimos a materias, eh, Galileo. Historia, como ma materias que usted recibe en el colegio o en la escuela. Historia, no podemos decir histories. No, puede decir, no podemos decir chemistries. Entonces, cuando hablamos de que, por ejemplo, en la universidad usted estudió ingeniería química, ¿verdad? Y estudió cinco químicas, por decirle algo. So you say, I study five chemistry. You don't say, I study five chemistries. All right. Entonces, cuando nos referimos a, a nombres de materias. Hola. So. I'm sorry, teacher. I have trouble. No, no, my... that's okay. You can say that you. <laughs> oh, it's me. Okay, uh, I got. Entonces, cuando hablamos ahora, si se fija Spanish eh, como materia, no como idioma, porque como idioma sí es contable. Mm -hmm. Si yo le dijera, por yeah. ejemplo, Galileo, how many languages do you speak? Usted me dice, I speak three languages: English, Spanish, and French. All right, ahí sí okay. se vuelve contable, pero Spanish como una materia de la universidad o del colegio, entonces sí es no contable. All right, okay. por eso también explicaba okay. que matemática, mathematics eh, lleva S, pero no es su plural, sino que su nombre lleva S. Así uh -huh. oh, es. All right. Yeah, I got it. Okay, very good. Thank you, teacher. Entonces ahí podrían eh, recordar algunas materias que llevaron en la universidad y poner como ejemplo. Yeah. Ajá, ajá. Física, creo que física no está aquí. Ajá, physics is not there. Uh, eh, biology, yeah, biology. Uh, okay. Geography. Uh, oh, it is there. Uh, física. Ay. Física como física o como educación física. O las dos. No, física, física. Como, physics. Como tal. No, physics. Física. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Eh, Gonzalo, Luis. Hola. Uh, eh, group, group E. That's no counts, no. Eh, number one is física. Ok. Hi, Dinora. Hi, Anna. You finished everything? Hi, teacher. Yes, teacher. Excellent. All right. I was just helping some of the groups because some of them are still working on them. Okay. 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 But in one minute, we're going back. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you, girls. Hi, Hi. Hi, 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 Olga. Finished? Hi. Hi. Hi, Jessica. Hi, teacher. Aquí estamos este... sudando. Sudándola. <risa> Todas las que se nos ocurren ya. Todas las que se nos ocurren ya. No, no, no. Es que nos dio muchas imágenes. Sí. Muchas palabras. 
Yo para, para ayudarles con los ejemplos, pero ya para el ejercicio les compliqué un poquito. Sí, <risa> un poquito. Sí, sí, sí. Ya, no, ya nos dejó sin palabras. Oh, no, no, pero yo creo que sí han encontrado algunas, ¿o no? Ah, sí, pero no, 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 no las hemos podido, o sea, las hemos ubicado, uh -huh. pero no sabemos si están bien en las categorías en las que, okay. en las que estamos viendo, ¿verdad? Ok. Así que ahí es donde estamos en ese desfase. Si gustan, lo ejemplo, podemos. Ajá, ajá. Veamos. Por ejemplo, ejemplo tenemos mouse. Ajá. Mice. Sí, mice. very good. Super. Eh, ajá. Goose. Goose es ganso. Goose. 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 Geese. Y geese. Ajá. Eh, eh, tenemos power. Ajá. Power en la categoría D, creo. Creo que lo pusimos en la categoría D, donde va Music. Power. Ajá, Power. power. Ok. Power. Ok. okay. Mm. En el otro, eh, en la categoría B, tenemos Mid, Beans uh -huh. y Drew. Ok. También podríamos poner Pepper como pimienta, ¿verdad? Que no lo podemos contar. Mm. Uh -huh. Y eh, tenemos family en la categoría C. Sí, family. Mm. How many families are there? Pero family. Family has member. Sí, pero la podemos contar porque puedo decir cuántas familias vinieron a la reunión, por ejemplo. How many families came to the meeting? Si sí se vuelve uh -huh. contable ella, siempre. Se vuelve contable. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Sí, ahí teníamos esa duda, porque Ajá. ya en el CECI nos generamos ahí este. Que son las categorías, que ¿verdad? Sí. Tenemos Yo creo que hay que identificar las categorías. Lácteos es una categoría donde está queso, crema, requesón, cuajada. Ajá, Ay, ya sí. me dio hambre. Sí. Entonces vamos a poner pupusas porque hay de queso, de hueco. Acaba de oro. Ay, no, sé. Me van a hacer que tenga más hambre, Eli. Come on, what happened, Eli? Vamos a poner En las categorías C, son todas como derivantes. Son como derivantes. ¿Sabes qué otro podría ser Sifu? La comida... Del mar, ¿cómo se llama? Los mariscos. Ah, los, los mariscos. Uh -huh. Seafood ah, es otra. Lácteo, seafood. Uh -huh. Sí, estaba tratando de entender de que fuera algo derivante. Exacto. Que, que, que no solamente uh -huh. puedes decir una cosa, sino que abarca muchas cosas dentro de ella. Exacto. Uh -huh. Como veíamos la fruta, ¿verdad? Frutas están Ajá, las guineos, sí. manzanas, uvas, peras, whatever. Uh -huh. Entonces, ya al desglosarlo por las unidades, ya se vuelven, esas unidades se vuelven contables, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Porque yo le puedo decir cuántos camarones come, ¿verdad? How many crabs, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. o, o, ajá, eso sí podríamos. De hecho, ¿sabe qué otra categoría hay? Es fish. Uh -huh. Como sí, peces, pescados. ¿verdad? O pescados, sí, ajá. Uh -huh. Sí, uh -huh. ajá. Yo lo estaba yo poniendo, pensé... pero más en, en si había alguna modificación en en la categoría. Okay. Yo, pensé, pero, sí. dígame. yo pensé en los pescados, pero, pero pensé que también se cuentan. Y, y, es y, que ahí, y, ahí, que y ahí no lo puede pluralizar, Eli, porque usted dice fish va a ser fish, nunca va a ser fishes. Ajá, no, uh -huh. ser. Ajá. no lo puede pluralizar. Y entonces ahí entraría la categoría. Mm -hmm. El bread también entraría en esas categorías. Sí, el, el, bread, el bread, igual que el cake, igual que el beer, all right, a veces, depende del contexto, puede ser contable y a veces puede ser no contable, porque yo le digo, Eli, necesito que vaya a comprar 10 pasteles, ahí se vuelve contable, 10 cakes, all right, pero cuando estamos en la fiesta y le digo, ¿cuánto pastel quiere comer, Eli? Entonces, ahí se vuelve no contable. Cuando me dice Elia, just a little piece o a little bit. Y se vuelve contable. Uh -huh. Entonces, depende, hay, hay, hay sustantivos que dependiendo del contexto del cual usted está usando, en el, que entonces, se en el que se encuentra, exacto, se vuelve contable o no contable. All right. Pero son, digamos, pocos en el sentido de pan, pizza, porque yo le digo, I'm going to go buy five pizzas, porque habemos un montón de gente. Pero ya cuando yo la estoy repartiendo, yo le digo, Olga, how much pizza do you want? 
a lot or a little bit. Entonces, ya ahí se vuelve no contable. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. All right. Así que ahí vamos. Pero vamos bien, chicas. Very good. Ya las hice, las hice pensar un uh -huh. poco. <ríe> y él así como, no, Jessica. <ríe> Oh, ¿cómo dice? <risa> sí. Sorry, Eli, prometo cortarme. Ya me llegó. No, está bien, está bien. All right, yes, está bien. bien. <risa> es que si no se las ponía muy fácil, porque ya estaban todas ahí. <risa> All right, veamos. Vamos a regresar ahorita. All right, so we can share some of the ideas. Okay, thank you, girls. Thank you. Hi guys. Eh, por ahí entré a un par de grupos y de repente sí estábamos como, como que nos cuesta en el, nos costó en el sentido de que habían como muchos ejemplos, entonces pensar en otros era como un poco más difícil, ¿verdad? Pero de eso se trataba, okay. para hacerlos pensar un poquito más, ¿all right? All right. Very good. Okay. No, 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 no fuimos por las nubes. Oh, no, prometo mañana portarme bien, vaya. All right, very good. Let's see. Alex, regáleme, vamos a hablar, Alex, de los, de los countdowns, pero los irregulares, Alex. Regáleme los cuatro que usted con su grupo pensó. Your microphone, Alex, is off. Nosotros est estuvimos, este, pero lo llevamos por grupos A, B, C, D. Pero de los contables, Alex, que eran los irregulares, ¿se acuerda? Como chi child, children. No. De esos. No, solo este, los de los. Non countable. No countable. Ah, bueno, no, ok, no se preocupe. Ya voy a con usted para que me dé alguna, algunos ejemplos de esos. A ver, um, Judith, can you tell me your four irregular count nouns? Eh. Mouse. Mouse, ajá. Uh -huh. Miss. Miss. Mice. Mice. Ah, uh, mice. Mouse, mice, yes. Uh, wife. Yes. We, wives. Wives. Wife. Wife. Una esposa es con F. Pero si usted tiene <laughs> más de una que espero que no sea pero anyway, <laughs> es wives con B. Wives. All right. Very good. All right. Very good. Another one, Judith. Es. Salesman, uh, salesman. Sure, okay, yeah, very good, makes sense, very good. Let's see, uh, William, sure. yes? I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Uh, what's the difference uh, in the regular nouns uh, with fish? Fish? Yes. Uh, that one doesn't have a plural. No. No, you cannot say fishes, fish is fish. You have fish many on. fish or you have one fish. Ah, okay. so, de hecho, es un irregular porque fish va a ser siempre fish. Mm, right? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. A ver, otros irregulares que hayan pensado por ahí. A ver, Elizabeth tenía otro con Olga. El goose y el. Geese. Goose and geese. Very good. Goose and geese. Another one. Mouse. Mouse. Policeman, mouse. policeman, mm -hmm. mouse, ajá, uh -huh, mouse and mice, ¿qué otro? Y wife y wives. With yeah. Wife. Pero también cuchillo, knife, only one, F E and knives with V E S. So that one is also irregular. All right. Other, oh, other ox. Ox, oxen, yes, ox, oxen, oxen very good. ¿Alguien fork, tiene forks? dado y dados? Fork, forks? O forks? Mm, no, it would be, that one is regular one, Alex. The fork. Mm -hmm. All right. ¿Alguien tiene dado y dados? Sí, sure. Live, el ah. live, que es el live, es el live, no sé Ajá. cómo se pronuncia. Live, el live. Ok, la like vida. O like... Hojas, hojas, hojas de, de árbol. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
One leaf and leaves, yes, yes, for sure, yeah, okay. A ver, dado, cuando se tiene un dado, dice die, y cuando, die como que fuera a morir, y cuando tiene dos dados, o diez dados, o quince dados, es dice, D-I-C-E, that's an, another one that is irregular one, okay, very good. Let's see, Carlos Alfredo, regáleme los ejemplos que usted pensó on category, on the group A, de los non-count nouns. Um, we think uh, smoke, blood, alcohol, and only that. Hold on, I just want to see something here. So it was like, uh, you cannot separate the parts, right? You look at the whole part. That was group A, um, Carlos Alfredo. G give me your examples again, Carlos, please. Okay, um, smoke. Okay. And blood. And alcohol. 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 All right. Very good. Okay. Let me see. Ana Solis, give me an example of group B. Cuando hablamos del group B, we talked about eh, que son, las partes son chiquititas o insignificantes para contar. Ajá. Uh -huh. De las de contar. Los, de las non count nouns. Como de los count nouns. Pusimos con Dinora eh, cat, cat. Eh, no, no, Olga. I mean, no, Olga. Eh, Ana, es, es de los del grupo B, de los no contables. Ah, excuse me. That's no okay. comp. Juice. Okay. Uh -huh. Juice. Del grupo B. Eh, ver. Ese sí no, es que ese no le tomé captura ticho. solo okay. pusimos, solo pusimos de, de, de no contables eh, juice honey okay. flour, sand, cinnamon ah cinnamon yes yeah. cinnamon is a good one very cinnamon. good a uh -huh. ver del grupo thank you Ana del grupo B guys can you give me some examples of group B Beans. Flour. Beans. Flour. Yes, flour. Rice. Rice. Yeah. Rice ya lo teníamos. Meat. All right. Very good. What else? Pasta. Sure. Pasta could be one. Uh huh. Meat. Mm. Cereal. Cereal. Yes, for sure. Okay. Bars. Okay. Very good. Excellent, guys. Very good. What about part um group C? Give me examples of group C. De las Liquid. categories. Liquids, sure, yeah. Liquid. Plant. Okay. Yeah. Plant. Chocolate. Chocolate. Sauce. Sure, okay, sauce. Okay, what else? Teacher, vehicles. Excuse me? Vehicles. Vehicles. There are buses, no. there are trucks, there are... Yeah, but vehicles or... is like a synonym of cars, Galileo. <laughs> they are countable. Although they, I understand what you're saying because there are different types of cars or vehicles, but you yeah. can count them. Okay. Right. por ahí de... Constellations, no sé, yeah, constellations. <laughs> yeah, we talked also about uh, lactose, dairy products. Okay, so dentro de los dairy products, you have cheese, you have sour cream. Cream. Mm -hmm. cream. All right, very good. Okay. Marisco, seafood, yeah. Tenemos shrimp, crabs, and all those things that I don't like, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, let's see. The other category, guys, um, category D. ¿Qué teníamos dentro del grupo D? Students. Mm. Ah, las abstractions, oh. right? Yeah. Out, dreams, wind. Okay. Students, location, sound. All right. teachers. Okay, uh, very good. Nice. Any other? 
pensaron en bastante, ya estaban diciendo que estaba difícil. That wasn't that difficult. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Ah, uh -huh, what else? Anything else for that one? What about uh, group E? ¿Qué son las materias que estudiamos? Uh, uh -huh. Language. Language, yes. Physiology. Physics, psychology, yes. Method and organizations. Okay. Uh, plan distribution. Yeah, everything you studied at university. <laughs> Logistics could be one. All right. Ahora, eh, ojo cuando hablamos de languages, ¿verdad? Porque language como materia sí es no contable. Pero si yo vengo y le pregunto, how many languages do you speak? Es diferente. All right. Como mate, como nombre de, por ejemplo, usted me dice, ah, yo estudio, I, I take French classes. All right. Como nombre de materia. Pero si usted habla francés, inglés, español, italiano, eso sí lo puedo contar y les enumero. All right, so you have to be careful with that. All right. Okay, guys, we're going to stop right here right now. I have to take attendance para podernos retirar. Y ahora le voy a pedir a Judith que se quede un ratito, Judith. All right, after class, so we can like talk a little bit. Y el de los demás se pueden retirar, nomás terminamos la asistencia de la que corresponde la última hora. Alex Humberto Saldaña Rodríguez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Ana Happy Beatriz. Yes, have, uh, Ana Beatriz Pineda Olmedo. Here. Ana Judith Portillo Bautista. Present. Blanca Elizabeth Alvarenga Mejía. Present. Carlos Alfredo Portillo Núñez. Present. Carlos Antonio Escobar Hernández. Present. Sandra Alfaro Corea. Present. Edwin Valmore Flores Gómez. Present. Thank you. Elmer Ubaldo Ramírez Cruz. Present. Thank you. Francisca Elizabeth Martínez. Here I am. Gonzalo, Gonzalo Valle Valle. José Eduardo Guzmán Álvarez. Thank you, Gonzalo. José Eduardo. Present. All right, very good. Uh, let me see here. Um, José Galileo Barrera Hernández. Present. Carla Marisol Escobar Arbaiza. Present. Luis Alfonso Martínez Pérez. Luis Manuel Muñoz Acevedo. Eh, present teacher. Thank you, Manuel. Norma Santana Mancía. Olga Marina Contreras Acosta. Olga Marina Contreras. Ok, a uh, William Mauricio González García. I'm here. Yolanda Melanie Pérez Enríquez. Ada Karina Cruz García. Present teacher. Thank you. And Ana Karin Solís López. Present teacher. Excellent, guys. Thank you so much. All right. Pueden trabajar en la tarea 3. Igual mañana seguimos repasando eh, lo que estamos viendo ahora de los count and non count nouns, el how much y el how many. All right, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining class today. All right, so solo Judith se me queda un ratito y los demás pueden ir a descansar y hacer su tarea. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Good evening. Bye now. Good night. Bye, Bye teacher. Bye now. Thank you. Good night. Good night. All right. Bye, William. Bye, Beatriz. Aha, uh -huh, Judith. How are I you? I miss, today? miss, lose. I don't know who to say. <laughs> what? Perdida. You lost. Last, okay. <laughs> what happened? Why, Judith? No, I just at the end today I was working and yeah. listening. So, um, but today it was so difficult the activity. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> I know, eh? I think it was very difficult for everyone today. <laughs> but that's the idea, you know, to like for you guys to think a little bit. Yes, it's true. Right, yeah, very good. Olga, me escucha. Olga, si está ahí, ya se puede retirar si gusta para que yo solo me quede con Judith por aquí. All right, so, um, so how's work? Tell me, how's everything? Everything busy as always? Yes, this, this uh, days for payments. Uh -huh. uh, to the, I had to pay today, but I didn't. <laughs> Oh, okay. Because we have we have problems with the system. Oh my goodness! Really, you. Did. So I I hope <laughs> I hope do it tomorrow. tomorrow. But wow. it's late for me for my. How do you say for my meta? Oh. It's late. <laughs> yeah. All right. But it's an exception, yeah, but for the problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's not your fault. But uh, yesterday I was casi durmiendo. Yeah. <laughs> Yo creo que se veía en la cámara. <laughs> oh my goodness, Ana. So that's very, a lot of work to do, huh? Yeah. Pero hoy no se ha enfermado, Judith. No, uh, my grandmother uh, regresó. Came back or went back? Came back to, to her house. Oh. So, so I, you were I, getting sick because of your grandma? I think. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, today uh, se vacunó. Got the vaccine today. Uh huh. Eh, bueno, ella padece de los pulmones. Ok. Entonces, es más propensa ya con eso quizás. Sí. Va a estar más segura. Mm -hmm. No sé cómo se dice todo eso. Yeah. I mean, yeah, after the, the vaccine, it's going to be better. <laughs> ok. All right. Okay. Very good. So, uh, Judith, did you, what, were you able to listen to the, um, the explanation of the uh, non count nouns and the groups. And I will listen the class again. Yeah. The video. All right. Because uh, I, I wasn't in the class. Yeah. I mean, you were, <laughs> but you weren't. Yeah. 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 Yes. Not completely. Mm. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, sometimes it's like really interesting because we know this, but in groups is like yes. a little bit difficult because that's why the activity was a little bit difficult all right because we know it but we don't know the which category or which group we're talking about right but it's good for you to know it especially at your level judith or at the level of beatriz or galileo that you guys speak the language already all right, so it's like but the vocabulary is, is the problem. Yeah, is the problem. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. All right, but that's good. So you guys have that, and now you know that there are different like groups within the uh, non count nouns that you need to like look over and study and and pay attention to those because sometimes we can confuse like uh, the count nouns with the non count nouns, and there are nouns that depends on the context they can be countable or they can be non-countable for example cake. all right because if i say judith can you go get five cakes at uh, la tecleña all right I, that is countable because i say five cakes all right like big cakes but oh, if you we, <laughs> uh -huh, but if we are in mm. the party and i serve you or i offer the cake I say, how much cake do you want? Quiere un poquito, bastante. So it depends on the context that some of them are countable and some of them are non-countable. So we need to pay attention to that too. All right, pizza is another example. All right, se puede ir a traer 10 pizzas. 
pero ya cuando le ofrecen la pizza, usted dice, eh, a menos que le pregunten how many slices of pizza, y siempre sigue mm. siendo contable. Pero si le digo, ¿cuánta mm. pizza quiere? Y usted me dice, ah, no mucho. Ese es no contable. Entonces depende del, del contexto en el que estamos hablando, que el, el sustantivo o el nombre se vuelve contable o non countable. Obviamente no pasa en todos, ¿verdad? Pero sí en algunos sí. So you need to pay attention to that too. ¿Y café? ¿Coffee? Um, coffee, it, it also depends, all right, but yeah. but yeah, all right. So coffee, beer also, like beer is like, you know, how many, like how many glasses of beer do you want or how much beer do you want? So I guess it depends also. So you, yeah, there are some, some of them that we need to um, pay attention a little bit more. All right, and then when we answer, sometimes we use some, sometimes we use any, all right? Some and any, they can be used for both countable and uncountable nouns, all right? But many is always going to be for count. Much is always going to be for non-count, all right? So they're like, they are always one or the other one, just like the yeah. numbers. I have to, to make time. Yeah. For to memorize <laughs> to 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 no, yes, but at the same time to help uh ¿cómo se llama este niño? Sí, se me olvidó el nombre. <laughs> Eduardo, no. Eh, ah, because okay. he's eh uh, he he say me. Uh -huh. To help. Ah, all right. Okay. Yeah, sometimes it's a little bit difficult for him. Yeah. All right. Very good, Judith. So, repase la clase mañana. Trate de verla ahí un ratito. All right. Igual Pero hasta así. mañana va a salir. Hola. Hasta mañana va, se va a subir. Sí, hasta mañana porque ahora yo la, la subo al canal de la academia. Ellos la trasladan mañana en la mañana a la, a la plataforma. Uh -huh. Entonces, lo que voy a tratar también igual de hacer es poner the, the PowerPoint presentation in the mm -hmm. platform. Entonces, eso sería, estaría abajo del video. Okay. All right. Pero ahí lo, lo encontrarían. Pero igual, that, that's going to be tomorrow, pero para que les ayude igual ir a recordar eso. Mm -hmm. All right, Judith, thank you so much for staying for 10 more minutes. I will see you tomorrow. Okay, so rest, vaya y duerma un ratito. <laughs> oh, sí. Hoy sí voy a dormir. <laughs> All right. Very good, Judy. Thank, Thank you. you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. <laughs> good night to you too. Bye. Este, ¿Cómo cerrar esto? Ya estuvo. Thank you.